Good morning and Merry Christmas. This is George Kachuk for Traders Exclusives or RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. What I'd like to talk about this morning is take a look at the equity markets. And if any way to sum up what's going on in equity markets is that the equity markets are about as clear as mud. And what I mean by that is we're still stuck in this trading range. However, I'm going to talk about a few things, about four major things you can look at that might sort of give us a clue once the market breaks out of this range as to which way it's going to go. So let's look at the levels on the NASDAQ, for instance. We're looking to see if the NASDAQ can get above that 5176 to 5200 level. If it got through that area on high volume, it could tell us that the market's ready to go next year. Of course, we're also looking to see if it can hold that 4980 level. That's right about where it's 200 day moving averages. That's an important level. And below that, we see a breakdown. We're looking to see if it can hold that 4900 to 4871 level. If it breaks down below that 4871, we might see further downside. Similarly, on the S&P 500, we're looking to see if it can take out that 2116 level. That's a near-term high. See if it can hold above that 2061. It's about its 200-day moving average. And if it doesn't hold that, if it drops below the 2000 level, uh, that may tell us that the market is indeed in trouble. So that's looking at the levels. Now some of the other things we're looking at, number two would be, is market breadth. So that compromises the new highs uh, minus the new lows divided by the total stocks on the NYSE. And that's actually improved over the last few days. That's been falling over pretty much all of December. Uh, we got some little bumps in that. It's been deteriorating. However, it looks like last week we might have seen a little bit of improvement. So that's something you'd want to take a look at as well. Now the other main thing is you want to see how leading stocks continue to act. And the big, large cap stocks are widely held stocks, namely Facebook. If Facebook stays above 100, the market's probably going to do pretty well. Same with Amazon. If Amazon stays above 600, we'll do all right. Google staying above 700, and some like Netflix above 100. Now, any one of these stocks may breach their levels, but as long as they're not all acting in unison, breaking down through those levels, the market still kind of in a, in a range with a possibly upside bias. That's something to look for. And lastly, some of the other leading sectors that are doing well lately is to keep an eye on. Some of the Chinese stocks, uh, stocks like Netties, uh, pretty much hitting new highs a little off this morning as most of the Chinese stocks are, or Tal Education, symbol XRS. Uh, we also have uh, Alibaba that's trying to break out from a low flat base uh, above $85. Actually, that's one stock we're accumulating right now. Uh, however, if it breaks down and closes below $79, that again may tell you that that sector is not doing well. And lastly, one of the other important sectors that's worth keeping an eye on and seeing how they act are the large cap biotechs. And that's specifically stocks like Gilead, Celgene, Biogen, Regeneron, and Amgen. Watching those stocks and all the above mentioned things that I mentioned will give you a clue as to which way this market's going to go. So as always, let price and volume be your guide this is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors wishing you a very happy New Year's and we'll see you next year. Have a great trading week.